I'm Christina Rivera for Red Carpet Report, and I'm at Nickelodeon Studios for a special screening of Rio 2, hosted by Anne Hathaway. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's so cool, like, hearing your voice, but yeah. seeing you and... Yeah, not, uh, not an animal. right. <laughs> well, and my voice is a little different in that because I'm the I'm like a really old decrepit bird, so I'm something like this, you know. Hey, hey, like that kind of thing. You know? That's so cool. Um, what is it like, like seeing? I mean, I'm sure obviously you've seen Rio too. What is it like watching it back? Several. I've seen it a few times. <laughs> I've seen it a few times. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's fun when the audience reacts to you know you you get like a. It's nice when you, you know, your line gets a, you get a laugh and you're like, all right, that's good, yeah. Good about it. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's great. And, and you know what? Everything Blue Sky, all their movies are just so gorgeous. They're great to like. It's amazing. The the uh, the animation is. It's like some some. There are some shots in Rio too that you think you're watching. It's like live. You think they actually shot it and then kind of put a live shot in. And it's all animation. So. Have you ever been to Rio? I have not. I'm not that method. <laughs> I'd like to be. Yeah. I actually requested it. Yeah, you're like, I, I think I need to go to I said, I really think for me to really capture Old Bird, you should send me to Rio. <laughs> and they laughed and said, get in the booth and yeah. be an Old Bird. Um, but what does the Lollipop Theater Network mean to you, just supporting it? Well, I think, uh, you know, any any organization that helps out when you have you have sick kids and and you know and it and they're going through tough times it's great it's you know it's a wonderful distraction it's a wonderful way to kind of improve mood and when you improve mood I mean that helps people get better faster it helps you know heal and uh, and it's really just amazing because what an opportunity to see not just not just get entertainment you know and all that but also to see behind the scenes meet the people who do it I mean it's just a very exciting thing you know did you I mean and you're I'm seeing the event this evening um, did you get to do a lot of work with your co-stars or did you do your voiceover separately well a lot of you know it's with film animation a lot of it is separate I mean, TV animation, they throw you all in a room. So I actually work on some other shows I, with Nickelodeon. I'm on Umizumi and uh, a new one called Wally Kazam. And that, like, sometimes yeah, I'm with the whole group. But for film, it's very, you know, you work with the director and you work with, you know, but you, you, you go in the booth and you do your thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be fun. I mean, I wish it would be great if they just put everybody together. But, you know... I think they have people, some people recording in L.A., some people recording in New York. I guess some people in Rio, the lucky ones. Did you have a favorite cartoon growing up? Of course you did, but what was it? Oh, gosh. I mean, I don't, you know, I always like the Hanna-Barbera stuff. I love, like, the Flintstones and, you know, Top Cat. I mean, I mean, that was b before me. I'm not, I'm not that old. Um, but, disclaimer. Uh, yeah, disclaimer. I'm not, I'm not, I did not watch Top Cat when it was on the air. I wasn't alive. Um, but yeah, and I'm actually one of the things I get, I'm kind of lucky to do now is I'm the voice of Top Cat for a, some new movies. So, so I get to like watch all the Hanna Barberas and and now try to really make the voice my own, which is fun. Very cool. It's so nice to meet you. Nice Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment of what your favorite Nickelodeon TV show is. Mine was definitely Cat Dog growing up.